Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam on Discord? Today we're here doing a ranked 1v1. I'm playing Neath. Hey, oh, monster, this is my boy. Wait, this is my boy, dude. Hell yeah, gamer. Hell yeah, gamer. How do you spell his name? What's up, my man? Yo, Ohm is one of my boys from uh from my stream. Hangs out really often. Donates. Dude, let's frag out. I'm gonna go for the one shot. I'm gonna go full power one shot Nethal. Bet, but I'm silver five. What? Why am I matched versus you? Matchmaking is rough. Holy crap. Well, you know? Wait, what? what's your MMR? Wonder what his MMR is. Don't remember. 1.7k plus. I hope it's at least 1.7k, dude. I hope it's at least 1.7k. If it's not 1.7k and he queued against me, that's... That's rough. Oh, it is higher than 1.7k. Okay. Okay, so your, your rank doesn't really matter. It's your MMR that matters. And, you know, if he's sitting at 1.7k or a little higher than that, then, you know, all's fair. All is fair. All right, let's frag out, dude. Let's do this thing. So, um, I downloaded RL Craft and all of these things. Um, I downloaded shaders too, but my computer seems to not love it when I'm hosting a server and recording at 1080p and have shaders on. My FPS doesn't seem to agree with me. Um, Oh. oh, my boy be lagging! Holy macaroni! But anyway, so I downloaded RL Craft, and I'm ready to start recording that on stream and uploading videos. Nice, okay. I was scared that I was gonna choke, which is why I didn't use anything. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna sell my pots to get Transcendence really early. Sell those pots, get that Transcendence really early, and then I gotta go Devos and I gotta go Soul Eater because I gotta stack that power up, dude. Alright, Red comes up soon. He has ult. Does scare me. Does scare me. Alright, let's just ward it. Okay, so I think, honestly, we're doing pretty good right now. We got that first blood, which is big. And I should be able... Oh. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. You ult them, and then all of a sudden they're stunned. You walk up, you get the one confirmation. Now they're taking too much numbies to think straight. 
and you just kill him. I will take this red buff. He finishes Soul Eater. How much is Soul Eater straight up? Um, power. 2100? You can save that. 2100 ain't that big of a deal. Now, Soul Eater stacks faster, so maybe I should go for Devos right out the gate, actually. Which is 2300. Which is definitely scarier. But, we're pretty close anyways. And then... How long does he take increased damage from Upgraded Sunder? Five seconds. How long does this take to charge? One, two, so it's about two and a half. About two and a half seconds. Or maybe just two seconds and my seconds were a little bit quick. Or maybe three seconds because my seconds were a little bit slow. Either way, it's not five seconds. So the plan is... The plan is... I hit him with upgraded Sunder. I fully charge my ult. And that kills him. If it doesn't kill him, then I'm going to be upset. Because that's the whole plan for today's video. It does kill him. That's gamer shit. Let's see how much damage this does right now. This is a fully upgraded. I mean, not much, honestly. Like, it's a lot, don't get me wrong, but compared to, like, one-shotting him, it's not much. However, I can still get... My Devil Glove stacks and my Soul Eater stacks. Which Soul Eater gives how much power? 20? And it evolves getting 15. So that only actually gives 35 power. So maybe that's not the best thing. But what gives the most power then? Heart Seeker gives 65. How much does Devos give? Where's that? It's 35 power, 65 power. Okay, so that gives 65 power. This gives, you know, an amount. Honestly, I wish that there was a buff right here because 3% of your mana is converted to physical power. I wish there was a buff down here that just told you how much power it, it was giving you. I think that would be beneficial. Um, be easier to calculate. So let's see. Blood Forge is 75 power, Heart Seeker is 65. So we're definitely getting those two items. We're definitely getting those two items. Then that's 45. Boy Shield's only 20. Still did 333, huh? My next item, honestly, it could just be a Blood Forge. 75 power is not a small amount. Shifter Shield gives 70 power, I believe. Yeah, when you're when you're full health or above 75% health, it gives 70 power, which is big. So, oh wait, I don't have enough for Blood Forge yet. I could just go Shifters. It'd be better for winning fights, but I'm pretty sure I win the fights anyways right now.
All right, he got the fence. So he thinks he's flexing on me right now. It ain't like that, brother. All right. Blood Forge. Puts me at 225 power. 223, apparently. Can I please have red? Hey, it's still there. Nice. Nice. Oh, I missed. I have a lot of life steal right now, actually. Okay. 258 power with three items. That's pretty crazy, actually. Damn. How much did my alt hit for? Only 358. That was fully charged, man. The fully charged alt only hit for 358. A whack. Yeah, I might hit the Phoenix hard as shit, though. Alright. So, my next item. Probably just gonna be shifters, honestly. Damn, I heal 132 per auto. How much am I doing? 280? Holy shit. 304 to the minis. I am absolutely fragging out, dude. Twenty four hundred for seventy power. Okay. All right. So I'm. What is that? Eight hundred gold out. I could also just title this video. Only buying completed items. Because I'm literally just farming until I get a fully completed item. That's all I'm doing. Like, I didn't I didn't do it with Transcendence because that's my starting item. And I wouldn't even do that if I did that challenge anyways, but... He has his speed buff on him. Go get my shifty boy. Oh, hold on. Never mind. There's a blue buff up. Alright, blue buff down. Now I gotta now I gotta get that red buff, dude. These buffs just keep popping up. Does my two clear? Fake. Oh man. Um. I'm actually surprised he didn't just go to Boldyman right there. Oh, I actually want this. All right. Do this. Sunder. Upgraded Sunder. Now I Sunder him, I fully charge the ult, I have 339 power right now. Next item I'm going to get, Heart Seeker, because that gives me 65 power. Then after that, how much health do you have? 1700. Can I even one shot 1700 HP? Hmm. Hmm. He ages it. No. <laughs> Fuck, man. Fuck. a lot of damage. Nice. 
Okay. We're not gonna get the Phoenix. Because well, to be completely honest, I don't want the Phoenix. Um I do want a speed buff though. My minions are gonna get the Phoenix, aren't they? I shouldn't have cleared that wave. Damn, I heal so much, man. My speed! <laughs> okay, how much is this? 2900? I think, right? 29 or 28? It's 29. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Time to farm more, man. Time to farm more. Alright, he did his blue buff. Dude, I really want to know if I can one-shot him, though. Maybe after I have his phoenix down. I'll see if I can one-shot him. I'll see if he'll sell his defense as a, as a meme. Only 450? Damn. That only did 459? At 304 power. That did 459? Man, that's kind of lame, dude. I have hella lifesteal, though. I shouldn't clear the wave, should I? Shit! That's gonna get Phoenix, isn't it? Alright, Heartseeker. We have 421 power now. Oh my god. Okay, we're over the power cap. Power cap is 400. We've officially broken power cap. I have one more item left. What's the next highest item? 45, 40, 40. I already have Transcendence. 40, 20, 25, 30, 35, 25, 40, 25, 30. Actually, if I stack this up, it does go up to 75. So I guess it would be itchable. I guess it would be itch of all. Ooh, okay. That time it did 600. It was 517 plus 63. Alright, alright. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think my red buff wore off right when I altered that, by the way. Um, I need some coffee, man. I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little sleepy, dude. Better run, gamer. Yeah, go that way. There you go. Um, how much is this? Forty. So I guess the the highest power thing I could get is Ichaval. In order to one shot him, I would need him to sit in his base. I would need to auto him three times, then Sunder. Then all.
Hmm. I don't know if that'll work even still, dude. Not dead. All right, he's gaming. He's a gaming. Does he have? Okay. Um. Got this. Now. First off, I actually completed the challenge. Because I bought all of my items without ever backing. Or not with not without ever backing. I'm sorry. Without ever purchasing like uh, a component of the item. I just fully bought the items every time. You need a red buff back though. I have 408 power without red buff. I have 453 power without red buff. With my age of all stacked. Oh my gosh. That's actually incredible. That's so crazy to me. So probably what I'll have to do is I'll auto three times to get the Ichaval stack. And then I'll sunder him and then auto him one more time. To make sure I don't lose my Ichaval stack while I'm charging the ult. I went double defense. I won't be able to one shot him boys. I have 504 power. Oh my god. Bummer, dude. Bummer. I'm out here trying to one-shot him. He isn't letting me. Oh, okay. Well, if you're not going to let me one-shot you, then I'll just have to beat you the old-fashioned way. And, and do a different title to this video. Only purchasing completed items. I'm finally somewhat quick. God, he had his alt up again. Ah, oh, GG gamer. GG gamer. Unlucky. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.